Good morning, everybody. I got more sun yesterday than I than I than I planned. Now. Oh, it's so bad. Ten minutes ago, Hollywood Studios opened up for extra magic hours for the last day of the great movie ride. You know what that means? We got to go to Hollywood Studios. It is a sunny day in Hollywood Studios. It's not as crazy as I thought it would be. I mean, the park did just open, but I think I think I thought it was gonna be like mobs. And we have not made it yet to the entrance of Great Movie Ride to see how bad the actual line is. But like the the guest count's not too bad right now. Unless they're all at the Great Movie Ride. Unless they're all online, which is what we'll we see just in a just a moment. Little, um, a picture in front of the theater with a little, um, I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Those movie things. And it said, great last day of the great movie that's ride. A, that's a wrap. Yeah. August 13th, 2017. And then the director was M. Mouse. M. Mouse. See, this line isn't too, too bad right now. Oh, wait, I don't know. Like, there's the line there. And it keeps going. Done over here. All the way over here, too. They have a lot of these like like street characters out today. Right now it says 110 minutes. I need you guys to know something about me right now. And I said I don't usually wear sunglasses, which is a predicament now that we live in the sunshine state. And I might just have to change my habits. But on a different note, we're not doing a great movie ride right now, even though the wait's 110 minutes, which might be the lowest it might be all day. Um, Chelsea and Cole are supposed to meet up with us later. And they we'd want to do it. And they want to do it. So we'd rather just, we'd rather wait in one ridiculously long line today, even if it means sitting in a 300 minute line. We'd rather do that with our two friends than right now for 100 minutes and then again later for 300 minutes. So we're going to go see if we can sneak on any other rides while everybody else is waiting for the great movie ride. Who the most hopeful character would help you to have done to be rather annoying? No, not just Jar Jar. All of them. I need a vacation. The vacations are for the rich. So, enjoy your It is still bright as ever. Still squinty-eyed Peter. Until I get used to the sunglasses. We got BB-8. Yeah, I've, we have, I don't think we've been on that since the newer movies came out. And BB-8 was in our Star Tour. So that was awesome. Nice surprise. Don't know if he's in every one of them nowadays. Like in between the scenes. No, we went on that in February and he wasn't in it. Well, we got BB-8 then. Okay. Yeah, it's like we're heading over to Beauty and the Beast Live. So this, if you have, if you've been keeping track, this is like the fourth time we've come to Hollywood Studios since we moved here. So I, it's almost, what is it tied now with Magic Kingdom? Yeah. It's tied for the number one spot of how many parks we visited. But we've done Star Tours today. It was the first time we've done that since we moved here, and now we're going to Beauty and the Beast, and that'll be the first time we see Beauty and the Beast too. Exactly. So for anybody who's like, how are you going to go to the parks all the time? So far, we have not repeated a single day yet, and I think it'll be a while before we do. Joffrey's fix. And I don't know where, but we got 20% off because we have a Disney Visa card. And that was at like the standalone stand too. And a little hint for any newbies coming to Disney World. If you're gonna stand in line even for something small in any kind of quick service or little place, ask for cups of water because it's free, it's ice, it's good, half the time filtered. they're filtered, so it does not taste like fire water. And why not? You waited in line anyway, just get a little extra kicker to try to cool off in the Florida heat. We're heading over to one, one band stream. 
and we're gonna see the updates and how it looks on the outside because if it's open. since we've been here last, it's changed. Ooh. The marquee is the sign is down. Oh, I saw that already. Yeah, in person. Yeah, oh. we were here the other day. Time has come. We're getting in line for the great move it's ride. Chelsea and Cole are for the last here. time. We got Chelsea and Cole back. I'm gonna so cry. We're hopping in line right now. It's just 90 minutes. We ran into some friends just now, which was nice. Uh, we saw Rock and Promise. And we actually saw them in February. We'll put in one of these corners that video. Uh, did we see them in, in the video? Yeah. We'll put the video in one of these corners. And we actually talked to Rock and Promise about how. They just, at the time, just moved to Florida and they were like, you should totally follow. It's great to live here. And we're like, maybe we will, maybe we won't. It was before me and Sarah made the choice to move here. And we got to run into them and it was great to be like, hey, we did move here like two weeks ago. So that was fun. But here comes the wave. Chelsea. Chelsea, how do you feel? This is almost as bad as the last night of Witches. <laughs> oh, nothing gets that. It's pretty bad, but not that bad. Welcome aboard. Please remain seated throughout the show. Keep your arms, hands, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Hello everyone, welcome to the great movie ride once again. My name is Anna Rose and I'll be talking to you from Hollywood Studios and Chattacops Movies. Please welcome our host for this wonderful time tour. All right, Osborne. Woo! Thank you for ready for Hollywood indeed. What better way to start our journey from the Old West to the rooftops of London and along the Yellow Brick Road. There really is no place like the movies. When you can do is shut up, you do. You want to blow up to me? I love gangster movies. Oh, no. Sorry. He's got a point. I hate it when people talk during the movie. So, should we get the cowboy scene? I haven't had this in over five years. Pilgrim, sit tight, folks. I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated. Your guide will return momentarily. Remain seated, please. Hold it right there, hombre. <laughs> Reach for the sky! You're under arrest! Oh, shut the door, little man! We saw a cast member crying on the way out. I think she might be done with her shift, but uh, for anybody who has watched Road in the Great Movie Ride or hasn't, the best part about it is the whole ride's about celebrating the magic of the movies. And even though the ride's not going to be here anymore, we all at home, um, anywhere in the world, can can watch the movies that they talk about in this ride. Right, Cole? 
What are we gonna get? I got the PB and J shake. I think we're gonna get a crab cake. And I got the Ja Ale, it's like a Tampa beer. Pretty good, pretty crisp. And I'm Joan from Please Crab Cakes. I'm game. Okay. All right, so what do we got? We got onion rings. Onion rings. We got a giant fried ball of cheese. Yep. And a crab cake. Yeah. It's like a triple dipper, but they have chilies. <laughs> 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 I'll give you some backstory. There's a local chili where Chelsea lives in Cole. That's like a dive bar, not only a chili. And Chelsea's classic goes like every time. Like that was a bartender. It's, it's no deal. It's good. It's good. It's respectable. Alright, we got a lot of Disney magic going on today. Hey Sarah. I'm trying the sunglasses. Let me know what you guys think of me wearing sunglasses because I'm very self conscious of it. So we just went to 50's Prime Time, the bar, just for a quick bite to eat. Happy? Yes. So we got, I just want you guys to know, they only do tables of one line discount. I forgot the logic of why the... I think at the bar. At the Thank bar, it's only tables of one line. I don't know what it is if you actually sit down. But we got three beers and a peanut butter and jelly okay. shake. And then we got the beer battered onion rings, which were really good. Really yeah, crisp and they were thick. There was a lot and they were like thick onion rings. So that was good. There was like substance to them. There was the grandpa's crab cake, which was smaller but full of good flavor. Yeah. And it wasn't too fishy. Yeah, you know good, how like, like slaw and sauce. Yes, yeah, so a very good, like not a bitter slaw, because you don't sell slaw sometimes it's bittery. Very good. And I think my favorite thing was the fried herb and garlic cheese with the raspberry raspberry sauce, grapes, and apples. So very good, like very herby cheese, but very sweet at the same time. So it's a very good mix. Very good. A little smaller, but still a really good, really good flavor. We're also much more full than we thought we were going Yeah, and all, all four of us just split all that, and the bill came out to being $64, which I don't think is too bad for Disney standards. Uh, you got three alcoholic drinks, a shake, and three appetizers. So it wasn't too bad. It was very quick, very easy, and they had a big table of a giant thing of water. So it's in Florida. Yeah. Can we get a reservation? We walked in. And I don't know what happened, but we forgot about our, this is the extra magic, is we forgot about our Tower of Terror Fast Pass that I nabbed for us for. I think Tower of Terror might have been down earlier because when you go on our app, it says that we've got um, Fast Pass for anywhere. So we're going to use those and go on Rock and Roll Coast. <laughs> Guys, don't be mad. J six? J six, journey six. Journey six. If you are that good with your parking, you already know what we're about to say, but we just want to get the most of our Sunday. And Cole, this is kind of Cole's fault. We're not doing this to go on another ride that's closing. We're just doing it to have some fun. But uh what are we? We're at the Epcot. We're at Epcot Center. If you wanna get real old old school about it. So I don't know what we're gonna do. We might go see uh the lounge because Cole and Chelsea have never been up there so we might bring them to the DVC lounge if we can get in there quick enough yeah. we're just gonna probably walk around if the lounge isn't close can we go to if it is close can we go to Club Cool? of course yes hi right, Chelsea and Cole you're in the DVC lounge for the first time what do you think? I feel very entitled and we like it <laughs> <laughs> with your free water they went they went water and regular coke when they could have gotten strawberry cream I'm soda a hydrate. coffee I'm gonna hydrate and then I'll get a Chelsea nice sugary Beverage. Chelsea does have a hydration problem. <laughs> um, she tends to faint when she doesn't have enough water. So that's for another time. We'll tell that story. Yeah, later. we'll we'll go in greater detail. Just know that Cole always has like a camel pack with him <laughs> for Chelsea's needs. <laughs> it is views like this that really make it you not care that it is Sunday afternoon. Look at these crowds. There's nobody here. Cole just said it. Why be home when you can be here? Right, sir? Exactly. Okay, it's August 13th, which means food and wine starts in 18 days. I cannot wait. We were here two or three days ago. I don't even know anymore. That was not here two or three days ago. An entire house 
an entire kitchen it was not here they got great barbecue there you usually I'm not sure if it's gonna be like that this year but it usually is barbecue oh my god we've been talking all day with Chelsea and Cole about food and wine so leave us comments down below what you want to see what you guys like and when you're going to food wine. Oh, we just missed them. That's a bummer. <laughs> just walk over and they, they walk away. Look at this crazy sweaty park here. We got this walls behind us and it's late. So you know what that means. Our day is over. The weekend's over. And the weekend's over. Which also means... Tomorrow's Monday. Back to work. That's okay. We have some... We should have a fun night tomorrow night. Yeah. We got another low-key thing going on tomorrow. I think we're going to do a resort, but we're not sure which one yet. Or and what grocery capacity. shopping. The dog's been a little crazy tonight. I think she's just tired. But, yeah, we're doing grocery shopping and then probably going to a resort to hang out. Yeah. I want to do Grand Floridian, but we'll see. But with that, thank you for watching. Eve says give us a thumbs up. <laughs> Leave a comment down below about what you're excited for food and wine because it's 18 days away. Don't forget to subscribe. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.